as the seventh planet from the Sun. It is a gaseous cyan-colored ice giant. Most of the planet is made of water, ammonia, and methane in a supercritical phase of matter, which astronomy calls ice or volatiles. The planet's atmosphere has a complex layered cloud structure and has the lowest minimum temperature, 49 K, 224 C, 371 F, of all the solar system's planets. It has a marked axial tilt of 82.23 with a retrograde rotation period of 17 hours and 14 minutes. This means that in an 84 Earth year orbital period around the Sun, its poles get around 42 years of continuous sunlight, followed by 42 years of continuous darkness. Uranus has always been left out when it comes to missions to our near neighbors. But now there are serious attempts to visit this toxic gas giant, writes Richard Hollingham. The butt, snigger, of countless jokes, Uranus is almost certainly the most unloved planet in our solar system. It always seems to get overlooked when the mission invitations go out. Spacecraft have been sent to Mercury, Mars, Venus, Saturn and Jupiter. There is even one on its way to non-planet Pluto. Uranus has only ever qualified for the planetary equivalent of a presidential brush by, when Voyager 2 sped past on its way to the edge of the solar system in 1986. Oddball, but Uranus, pronounced Uranus in polite astronomical circles, does not deserve its dull, or comic, reputation. In fact, it is one of the most interesting, exciting and downright weird planets we know of. Uranus really stands out, says University of Oxford planetary scientist, Lee Fletcher. It's the oddball amongst the collection of planetary types we have. Join on Wednesday, January 10, 2024 for our family astronomy night focusing on Uranus. Did you know that Uranus was the first planet to be discovered by science? And that it is still the only planet to have been discovered by accident?